Good morning and welcome back to the front office of the Saab SK60. Today we will be having a look at these things, which is the primary method in which the SK60 delivers death and destruction. So first of all, we want to talk to our ground crew. We want them to install the gun sights. And we want them to set our rockets in an all mode. So we now have the gun sight. And we can start taxiing down the to the taxiway. Way past this bandwagon right here. And the line of SK-60s. I decided that taking off in this direction is probably the faster thing do rather than taxed by the gigantic vegans over there and feeling a bit inadequate by comparison. So the SK-60 isn't by any stretch of the imagination a capable ground attack aircraft. It was always meant to be more of a, if we have a bunch of fighter jets, we are going to actually have weapons on them. And... Uh, the ornaments for the SK-60 really reflect that. You can either have a gun pod or, as we are in this scenario, showcasing a bunch of rockets. And the rockets are fired and then you get the hell out of dodge and hopefully live to fight another day. The tactics were rudimentary. They were very much in uh, the spirit of the pilots that were gonna fly them. Since most of the m m most capable pilots in the SK-60 would be flight instructors, uh, the basic premise of the SK-60 was that you w would have the flight instructors do snap of the F tactics, then they would do a pop-up, and then you would then you would uh, get the hell out of dodge, basically. So. In digital combat simulations, this translates into an aircraft that might actually be a bit finicky to get to work right. But uh, it doesn't make it less fun for that, honestly, because to me, limitations is just as fun as having advantages. I mean, you can fire a bunch of uh, AMRAMs against the target you cannot see, and Sure, that might be fun, but it's far more fun to let your own skill and determination decide how far you will go, or how low in this particular case. So we are gonna use Nap of the Earth tactics to fly to the cross close to Batumi. Uh, and once we have located the target, we are gonna strike the cross. Uh, we can also check our flight plan on the GPS. Uh, as a person who makes campaigns, this GPS is gonna be a lifesaver because I originally had a plan. I can see the target now. Uh, I had originally had a plan that there would be a navigator sitting away, chatting away, turn here, turn here, turn here, just like a navigator would do in the SK-60, but I haven't really decided if I'm gonna keep that idea, because in the end I'm gonna have to have someone sit and voice it as well. So, we have the target uh, visible to our right, and the master arm switch for the SK-60 is hidden right behind the switch there, and I'm going to confess that I actually had to ask on the boss discord about it. Uh, I'm not gonna confess exactly how long I looked for it before I asked, but I'm just going to say it was a considerable time. So having determined that there are no evil shirkas or patriots or stingers or anything else near the target area, we commence with the pop-up. Now this, this is, by its very design, a very sloppy pop-up. Rather, I should have made a far better one, but... Okay, procedure has never been my strong suit. So, right now we are at our most exposed. 
we are turning our aircraft down towards the uh, target and this is a very bad attack angle but but we managed to bracket the target regardless and that is the name of the game so essentially that is all you have to worry about in the SK-60. You have to worry about everything that's going to be shooting at you. You have to just pop up, fire, and get a hell out of a dodge. But for this particular uh, assignment, that will simply have to be enough. So we are going to gain a little bit of altitude since we just been under range. And we are going to try and get... There we have it. There's the airfield right there. And we are going to just turn back and land. So I'm going to try and not make the same mistake I did earlier. Uh, where I managed to completely stall out the aircraft. Uh, apparently the stall reminder for the F SK-60 is in your foot, not your hands. But my experience with the hands is based on the Saab Draken, which has slapped my fingers during a simulator run in a Saab Draken simulator that you can fly in Javle. So right now we are putting our flaps down to landing and uh, yeah, we're a bit high. The landing flaps really, really robbed us there. And the problem is I, cr I can't reduce my altitude even if I try. So we might actually have to see how this thing breaks. Because we messed that up royally. But that, that didn't turn out to be much of a problem, rather breaking this thing is, yeah, not a problem at all. And we ha also have a f tiny little air brakes there as well, it seems, that helps us just break this aircraft. And the rockets aren't more complicated than that, basically just master arm on, uh, aim the aircraft, and fire. Nice little thing.